In this video, I show you how you can compose music faster in Studio One with the Scoring Tools extension by Lukas Roszitska. You can also win it. We have three giveaway copies available. Scoring Tools is a macro bar that unlocks a set of brand new DAW functions aimed at composers and you install it with one click. These visibility functions come in handy whenever I use my orchestral template with instrument folders. I can go to a specific track or folder and this filter here automatically shows tracks inside predefined folder names like my strings or woodwinds folders. I can also type my own filter, like CSS, when I quickly want to see my Cinematic Studio Strings tracks. Obviously, those tracks need CSS in their name. But wait, what if they don't have CSS in their name? And I just call them cellos or violas, but still want to filter stuff. Or when I only want to show Audio Imperial libraries. That's where tags come into play. With the Edit button, I can add multiple tags to my tracks, like marking my Cinematic Studio Brass tracks with CSB, Brass and Cinematic Studio Series, then my Cinematic Studio Strings tracks with CSS, Strings and Cinematic Studio Series. Same for the Woodwinds. Now if I filter for Cinematic Studio Series, it shows all Cinematic Studio Strings, Brass and Woodwinds tracks. This is very useful for quickly moving or pasting MIDI events between the Cinematic Studio Series instruments, which, due to their consistency, shouldn't require any editing. Same works for other developers, of course. One click here shows the entire project. All of these commands can be mapped to a hotkey or the Stream Deck for an even faster workflow. Unfortunately, as of now, track tags can't be stored inside Studio One's track presets. So when you load a track preset in a new project, the tags are not carried over. Lucas is aware of it and told me that he might prepare a workaround as a free update in the future. Luckily, you can select multiple tracks and add tags for each of them by typing only once, which speeds up the process a lot. The visibility tools in Scoring Tools for Studio One are like a surgical knife that cuts through the layers and organization of my project and reveals exactly what I need at that time. I often create new tracks while composing and I hate moving them across my entire template to find the right folder sluggishly waiting for it to scroll up, wasting time and energy. Move to is a welcome shortcut here. Some popular folder names are pre-populated, but you can also add custom names and even create a folder if it doesn't exist yet. Colorization included. Similarly, you can connect folders to your existing buses. You can nudge events by beats and even frames, which is good when scoring to picture with the new video editor in Studio One 6. Speaking of video editor, this menu lets you create markers from written timestamps and it allows you to navigate frame by frame to nail the timing of your soundtrack. Here's another cool thing. You can nudge only notes with a certain velocity range by a certain amount of milliseconds. Think about Cinematic Studio Strings legados, where low velocities have a 333 milliseconds legato delay, medium velocities a 250 milliseconds and high velocity a 150 milliseconds legato delay. Nudge notes by velocities can immediately push back the right notes by the right amount of time. Even better, create one macro with three commands, one for high velocities with 150 milliseconds, one for medium velocities with 250 milliseconds, and one for low velocities with 333 milliseconds. Map it to a hotkey, et voila, one button to nudge them all in time. Even, even better, Add the new custom command, select overlapping notes to the macro, so the first note of a legato phrase is not affected and stays in time. This workflow is game-changing for me because sometimes I avoid Cinematic Studio series for this variable legato thing. <laughs> One highlight of scoring tools is multi-part editing. When I voice my string section, I carefully arrange five tracks. First and second violins, violas, cellos and basses. With one click, I can give each instrument a different color to better focus on one melody line and single it out. I do my tweaks to the violins and move over to the cello. Once I finish all parts, I switch back to the multi-part view, evaluate what I did overall and restore the colors. Super nice for section writing. If you use sound variations in Studio One for switching articulations, and you should, this menu lets you search and select notes by sound variation, either by searching for a sound variation or selecting all notes with the same variation. Imagine you have a MIDI line with different articulations.
Finding and selecting notes with the same sound variation is much faster like this than finding and selecting them all with the mouse. Like all the new functions, these also appear in the macro organizer in a separate scoring tools group, which means that you can assign a hotkey to them and speed up the workflow even more. One button to search for an articulation, one button to select all other notes with that articulation. You can toggle the next sound variation in your list or find it by typing. This is helpful for libraries with tons of articulations. The task of, hmm, I want these notes to be sforzando. No longer means scrolling through a drop-down menu trying to find the word sforzando, but by simply typing sf. Scoring tools for Studio One are available at studioonescripts.com for 29.99 euros, and I think they offer a lot of value for composers who work a lot with MIDI, orchestral templates, and sound variations. With scoring tools, I can develop nice workflows that accelerate how I navigate, arrange, and route my project, and edit MIDI notes inside my favorite DAW. Lucas was kind enough to provide three giveaway copies for the Become a Pro Composer community to boost your workflow inside Studio One. All you need to do is join the Become a Pro Composer Discord community where hundreds of like-minded composers learn and improve on their composer journey in a positive environment and enter the giveaway with one click. Happy composing and I will see you soon.